My people, speedrunning is about a combination of skill and knowledge, and who knows started better than the guy who made it. I am going to rush to floor 50 of the mines as fast as I can with Concerned Ape himself. Myself and Eric are going to start on a new farm and get to floor 50 as fast as we can, and we're just gonna have a little chit chat along the way. I mean, it's supposed to be for speed, but honestly, I just wanna get to know the guy. And so uh, without any further ado, let's get right into it. Doing the new world record right oh here, God. right now. All right. Yeah. It's, it's a shame Habu's gonna have to watch it happen live. <laughs> I'm sure he's laughing <laughs> over there. World record incoming. Three, two, one, go. And we're sleeping oh, right already, to the 50. Already slow. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask while we're just sleeping for three more days here also. What what does uh, what's your current schedule look like these days? Uh, my current schedule is pretty much I get up, uh, have breakfast, and then just start working. Um, I can't say exactly what I'm working on because it's a secret, sure. but I have announced that there are two projects I'm working on that are secret. No one knows what they are. Well, some people do, but <laughs> uh, I haven't announced what they are publicly. And so I basically I'm working on one of the projects kind of like nine to five. And then I, in the evenings and on the weekends, I work on the other project. So like that takes up a huge amount of my time. Uh, other than that, like kind of just, you know, trying to relax a little bit. Sometimes I, I play games with people too, like in the evening, like uh, I've been playing with some other game devs that I know. We've been playing uh, Seven Days to Die. That's been fun. Yeah, very cool. Other than that, it's like, I don't know. I mean, I try to work out when I can. Well, that's really cool, man. I uh, I think that's really fun that you've you know, found more projects that you like working on. I don't know if this is uh, gonna fall under that same, like you don't want to answer because then it's official sort of thing. Um, uh -huh. But are there any characters in Stardew Valley that are inspired by people either that you know in real life or famous people or anything? Uh, yes. So most of the, the characters I just kind of came up with, um, they're kind of maybe based on general abstractions of people that I've met, you know, in my life or certain archetypes that I've noticed. Mm -hmm. But there is one character who is like, legitimately based on someone that I know um, although I did kind of go beyond to some degree you know and kind of embellished a bit but I won't say who it is that's fair yeah uh, there's a ladder at the end of this level always oh yeah but you would know because you coded it I, you know? I do know that yeah <laughs> <laughs> although I wasn't sure what you know what is the strategy I'm sure Habu knows it's okay. I, I've come to accept whenever he's watching me speedrun, I'm gonna get made fun of no matter what. Uh, there was a, a theory from Brandigan that he told me back in February that uh, Willie is modeled after Robin Williams. Is that true or is that just a coincidence? Uh, that's just a coincidence. Uh, <laughs> once I, uh, I saw it, I couldn't unsee it. It's true, he does kind of look similar. I, I will admit that. Oh, uh, this, this is the worst. Mine layout. This is one of my biggest regrets in Stardew Valley. Is <laughs> this level? layout? Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the one. If you have a staircase, people skip it in runs. Yep. Absolutely. People often ask me like, "What is what is my biggest regret in Stardew Valley?" And it's I think it's that level. Man, I had a question I was going to ask you, but I I know you're not going to answer it. I was going to say I wanted a final answer on whether or not Abigail is the wizard's daughter, but. Uh, I'm not gonna answer yeah, that. Yeah, no I way. understand. <laughs> I had to had to ask. I mean, Abigail's my girl, you know. Yeah. Well, how <laughs> would you feel if she was? You know, I think the evidence points towards that in a lot of ways, but I've heard a lot of other crazy theories. I think, uh, yeah, I'd be okay with that. I don't think I dislike Pierre as some people do. Some people really <laughs> give him a hard time for uh, for having True. so much money. You know, They're like him and Lewis, well, he, people will get mad at. Yeah, you know, I I didn't really intend for him and Lewis to be like yeah. <laughs> reviled <laughs> characters at all, but I mean, I can understand why people have issues with them, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I think personally that Lewis cares a lot about the community. He just has like a strange, maybe a strange way of showing it, and mm. he does care about. He worries about his position, you know, at, and being respected as the mayor and like he doesn't want that to be undermined and maybe he doesn't do it necessarily in the best possible way but i think that's kind of where he's coming from it's coming from a place of like ultimately he cares about the community but i mean again that's the sort of thing where it's like that's just my interpretation i don't necessarily i think the only thing that's canon is what's in the game 
right? Yeah. Like what, whatever my opinion is beyond what's in the game, I wouldn't even take that as like necessarily canon. Sure. Because I'm kind of I have my own opinion that's based off of just what is presented in the game, but like. Here's a little uh, little concerned ape history. I don't know if this is common knowledge or not, but how did you get the name concerned ape? Um, that's one where it's kind of like. It was a long time ago that I came up with that name. Um, I had some vague idea at the time that it's kind of supposed to say something about the uh, hubris of mankind, but I'll, I'll just leave it at that. All right. <laughs> uh, See, I, as, I'm sure as you can tell by now, oh yeah, the ladder's back yeah. up near the beginning. Uh, I'm sure as you can tell by now, I like to be a bit cryptic about yeah. things. No, I like it too. I, I respect that. It is more fun. I mean, I've... In my studies of the game, I have read a lot of theories, and it, it definitely is, is fun for a lot of people. We'll sleep two days at least to get full energy, and we'll also we'll also make sure we go on a day that has at least good luck. While we're sleeping, one of the things I noticed my first time playing of Stardew was during the flower dance. I couldn't help but notice I'm a little bit... Yeah, I, I kind of got two left feet. <laughs> what's what's the deal with the dancing animation at the, uh, the flower dance? So, I mean, part of the reason why those animations are so, like, weird looking uh, is because I just didn't want to draw, like, a lot of... Basically, I just used frames that are used elsewhere in the game. You'll see, like, the characters, they just kind of, like, bend their knees, right? They kind of, yeah. like, dip down a little bit. It's because it's super easy to draw that, <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, yeah. you know, when you're making a game as big as Stardew Valley, like, you have to kind of cut some corners, I guess, and... You know, otherwise the game would have, I could have spent like uh, 10 years before I released the uh, sure. 1.0. So yeah, th there's a lot of little things like that where it's like, well, I just didn't feel like, you know, taking the time to draw some like complex dance moves. Also, the thing is like, if I had known the game was going to become so popular, maybe I would have spent the time to do those complex dance moves, but I just, I had no idea, you know? I guess I'm more just wondering why I'm so out of sync with everyone just bending the knees, you know? Oh yeah. <laughs> That's all right, I understand. Well, that's kind of one of those things that just happen randomly, and I think it's kind of funny, and it, it allows people <laughs> it to kind of come up with their own reason why. You know, yeah, like I maybe- think it, you're just so yeah. new to the valley, it's like you just don't know any better. They've all got their dance, and it's <laughs> right. like, they just threw you in there. I happened to just glance at the chat for a second, and I'm sorry, I don't know who asked, but someone had asked, have you ever completed Fector's Challenge yourself? Ladder in the middle, by the way. Uh, Fector's Challenge? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Have you beaten yeah, Journey of the Prairie King? I, I have, yeah. Okay, definitely. there you go. That's more than I can say, shamefully. I just gotta practice. I know. <laughs> so my follow-up to that then, do you prefer Journey of the Prairie King or Junimo Kart more? Hmm, um, uh, that's tough. I mean, I the old Junimo Kart was really bad. The new Junimo Kart, I kind of, I do like it a lot, but I still probably like, I think Prairie King is probably my favorite. All right. But I like them both quite a bit. And I know a lot of people hate them and think they're way too hard, but <laughs> no, it's, the challenge is yeah. what's fun, you know? Yeah, exactly. If they're too easy, it's no fun. Go I will easy. say I do regret Vector's challenge. <laughs> because I just feel it's another one of those things where it's like if I had realized like how big the game was going to be and how many millions of people I would like disappoint that they wouldn't <laughs> be able to get the full achievements to the game because of Fector's challenge. No, I, th I think it's still okay. I think uh, Penguin Panda was, went a little mad trying to stream it himself, but... Maybe it kind of, it's like a valuable lesson, you know, like not, you can't always attain everything that you want in life, you know, you can't always get 100%. Like, you I, have I... to just make, make peace with the fact that, you know, you can only do 90 five percent or whatever i did not think that was gonna like, be the moral i thought you were gonna say sometimes you know it's it's okay to like put in the work and you know it's it's all worth it in the end that's the lesson but you're like well oh, that i think that is a good lesson for the people who actually uh you know actually practice and get good enough and get that achievement yeah that's very noble but i think there's lessons either way absolutely it's like you know not not everyone has to be a Fector's challenge person and that's totally fine and then I know I, I meant to ask this right after I asked about the name. This may be cryptic as well, but the uh, the picture, your profile picture for Concerned Ape. Yeah. How'd you get that? <laughs> um. The so, I don't know. That's just kind of, you know, before I got into pixel art, I did a lot of doodling, just on like pen, like pencil and paper and colored pencils and stuff. 
Um, and there was a certain kind of like, I, I won't say what kind of animal it is because then everyone will say, oh, that's the animal. But like a certain type of animal that I would draw and he kind of looked like that, yeah. like the concerned ape uh, profile. And so, I don't know, then I just kind of was like, well, you know, I need a, I need a profile picture for my Twitter or whatever, <laughs> my blog. And I just kind of drew this thing and it was similar to these things, like the little doodles that I used to make. Uh, and that's it. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't, I didn't really think about it too much. You know, that, that's the thing that's kind of funny about Concerned Ape and about the profile and all these things. It's like, I didn't really think about them too much. It's just kind of like a random thing I chose. And then now suddenly everyone like is, knows about Concerned Ape. Yeah. And it's like, well, that was just kind of some <laughs> random thing I chose, you know? Like, it could have been anything. Yeah, but it's still uh, you now, you know? That's uh, true. Yeah. True. Even, even if it is just some random thing you didn't think about much, like that's part of who you are. All right. Well, the same even with the yeah. with the name Stardew, uh, like Stardew, the name, like there was a bunch of names I was thinking of, and it, it could have easily gone a different way. Like imagine that if it, and for a while the game was called Sprout Valley, yeah. which I think would have that would have been awful. <laughs> but, it doesn't have the same uh, the same ring. No, it's like it's it does not roll off the tongue. Like Sprout Valley. Sprout Valley. <laughs> no, it sounds awful. Yeah. <laughs> Well, from a video making perspective, I really appreciate how you can type Stardew all with one hand. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's true. very convenient it's, for me when I search the wiki 50 times a day. It's like one of yeah, it's actually it's one of my favorite words to type like possible like it's perfect and that was not intentional but I don't know. Yeah. All right, this may be our last question I ask you depending on how long your answer is, but uh, you know, out of all the different skills that you needed to make Stardew, you know, between you know, art and music and coding and everything. You can either answer which one was the hardest to learn or which one was your favorite, whatever you're feeling. Okay, um, I think the hardest was pixel art, like by far. And I'm like really in many ways not happy with the pixel art in Stardew Valley. Like I don't think it's, I mean, I think it, it achieves like what it's supposed to achieve and it, it has a, like a consistent style, which I mean, I don't know. It's some people love the art some people don't think it looks that great but like i mean i i'm happy with it but i know that i can make way better pixel art and it's just like the beginning of like my entire journey of pixel art right like mm -hmm. it, it's just i don't know it's just very it's a very you can go very deep into getting good at pixel art and it's basically like a lifelong pursuit but yeah pixel art was very very difficult to even get competent at and like stardew valley's art i would just say is competent and I'm still getting better at pixel art even now, but mm -hmm. the the other stuff like music, I always like, I, I made music like for many years before I even started making Stardew Valley. So it was kind of something I had like a head start in. So yeah, with the pixel art then, I guess I remember your new game is gonna be 32 by 32 instead of 16 by 16, is that right? I, I uh, have those numbers slightly wrong, okay. I think. No, you're, so you're right, you're, you're right, but you're also wrong because okay. So there was a new project that I started working on that I actually kind of shelved for yet another different project. Uh, <laughs> the, the first new project was 32. Now the two projects I'm working on, one is 16 again and the other is 24. Okay. So there, it's, yeah, it's like, part of the reason why I shelved the 32 is because 32 takes, it, it just took way too long to make art for yeah. it. Yeah, and it's like, I'm making all the art myself. So it takes a long time. So you answered, uh, you answered hardest skill then. What's your favorite one that you picked up? Well, I think my favorite thing to do in general is probably music, but that's always been like kind of a passion of mine. Like before I ma I uh, started making Stardew Valley, I wanted to be like a musician or like play in bands or something like that. And like I, I would make like little albums, uh, even though no, no one really listened to them, but <laughs> I just kind of made it as a hobby, you know? Well, so, and I think through making all the music, the soundtrack for Stardew Valley, I do think I like improved a lot as a musician as well. So I really valued being able to do that. And I'm like, I'm really looking forward to making new soundtracks for my next games too. Do you want to talk to me about your video, Duck? Uh, sure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> so uh, Duck was actually, uh, in college, I took this class that was, I don't remember what the class was. But um, it was like a programming related class. And one of the things we had to do was program these little uh, like image filters. 
like in the in the video duck you see the picture of the duck like it's all morphing in weird ways yeah well it was basically like me like applying these filters and then like taking a video of it for the class and then i <laughs> uploaded it and then i made the music for it because like i said i like to make music as like a hobby so like i made the music for it to make it a little bit fun and there you go there that's what duck is all about yeah Oh wait, we did it. We did it. Oh wait, yeah, 2420 oh. was our time. <laughs> oh, was that good or well, <laughs> what's I'm, the world record? I'm gonna go look right now. So we did the two player okay. category. I got good news and bad news. Okay. Um, the good news is that we're in the top 10. Nice. The bad news is that there's currently nine runs on the leaderboard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so um, what are we, the 10th? Yeah, we're number 10. <laughs>